Now, new developments in the probe into that Air France jet that crashed over the Atlantic Ocean this week. Ice damage to speed sensors may have played a role, and Sue Keenan has more on the crash, which tragically claimed the lives of 228 people. Sue? Still a mystery because they haven't found the wreckage yet, Matt, but incorrect readings coming from the Air France jet's speed sensors minutes before the crash could have contributed to its plunge into the Atlantic Ocean. Investigators are now going to ask the company that makes the sensors to supply information because three external sensors could have caused incoherent speed data to be transmitted. That's according to several investigators and people close to the matter. All the more important, those black boxes that would give investigators some clue of why Air France 447 went down, Honeywell makes the data recorder in question. On that Airbus A330, there will be about 400 parameters that are recorded. And so uh, the, the uncertainties around the speed can be detected between um, information around air speeds, uh, uh, pressures, uh, GPS uh, speeds. So there's, there's all the different variables that can detect winds versus the speed of the airplane. So all of that will be found on the, the data recorders. Bottom line, investigators hope to learn more. Meanwhile, disastrous weather is still seen as the main cause. And the bottom line on that, crashes can have a chilling effect on travel. Value Jet, you may recall, suffered a crash in 1996, grounded the company permanently, forced a merger. TWA folded in 2001, four years after an explosion near Long Island, calling attention to its use of old planes. And of course, 911 or 911 had a dramatic impact on the public's appetite to travel as well as airlines themselves. So, so does this mean uh, that Air France is going to have flyers staying away now that they have the crash on their record? Well, talking to analysts and consultants, the short answer in the short term, yes. Bottom line of this is, this is a one-off, and Air France is not a troubled company. It's very, very professional company. It'll get through this with a, a minimal amount of downside in terms of traffic. So longer term, he thinks Air France do pretty well. Airline profit margins, meanwhile, already have been slashed in recent years. Fuel costs, empty seats, the issue. And when it comes to stock prices, they've nosed eyes too. This S&P airline index had nearly a third of its 12-month high. All right, Sue, thanks very much.